Marie's pain and second marriage burnt in a fire. And when I divorced, I swore Andy I would never marry again. And my children came to me and said, Mom, please leave. We got to get out of here. Was Marie Osmond brave enough to give up in an instant? I mean, it's not like this was a spontaneous decision. Oh, no. I'm probably damaged. You know, I've been damaged. A facade to a marriage that wasn't happy for 20 years. Oh. Marie was never afraid to share her pain. And I just went, I can't do this anymore. I think that women need to share. I think women need to feel that camaraderie and that love. But this breakup made her afraid of marriage. You give your heart so much, it's that fear of letting somebody in again. And, and I love men, don't get me wrong. Then, God brought Marie and her first husband together. And we fell in love after 25 years of never seeing each other. It's a Cinderella story with a lot of bumps in the road with a beautiful, happy ending. <laughs> so. How did she open her heart to love again? Marie married Brian Blosel shortly after her first divorce. I was married the first time uh, to the love of my life, yeah. about four years. Okay. And then we divorced and then I married again. And you know, uh, uh, probably too soon, And uh, but you hang in there, right? You yeah. start hanging in for kids. Marie and Brian welcomed seven kids, over 20 years of marriage. It looked like nothing could stop their love. So what led to their divorce in 2007? Life is difficult, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's not like this was a spontaneous decision. Oh, no. It's been 20 years and everybody's fine. We're doing good. At first, Marie didn't want to open up about it. Our marriage has always been a faithful one and neither of us is assigning fault for the divorce. But recently, she talked about losing her house to fire and it became a metaphor about her crumbling marriage. I also know that it was probably one of the most freeing things that ever happened to me. So what made Marie feel that way about it? Because I realized this home that I had created was a, a facade to a marriage that wasn't happy for 20 years. Oh. I believe God's, you know, they, they call it the burning within and I just went, I can't do this anymore. It was hard for her to start life over at 47. All of a sudden, I'm a single mom and I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent let alone feed my kids. And my children came to me and said, Mom, please leave. We got to get out of here. And that's when Marie realized she had to go. However, her personal life became a turmoil. I've been damaged. And you know, when you, when you go through two, and you ask any woman who's been through it, you give your heart so much, it's that fear of letting somebody in again. But the love of her brothers helped her heal. Growing up with men, I think I understand men. <laughs> I, my problem was I just assumed everybody was like them. They were the ones who always supported Marie. I said, it must be hard being married to me. And, and they said, Marie, maybe the Marie Osmond, but ha, my little brother, he says, Marie, being married to you is a piece of cake. Yeah. But one person always held a special place in her heart. I had the best mother in the world. Yeah. And um, that kind of love carries me still. Marie's mother taught her many life lessons. You have to get back. You have to do something where you know it's not just all about you. And so my mother taught me that. And so uh, I, I think that's what gets you through in life is, is the need to give back and do things for other people. Marie is known for doing a lot of charity work. The divorce also made her support other women more. I think that women need to share. I think women need to feel that camaraderie and that love. I, I love women no. and I love children and, and I love men, don't get me wrong. But breaking up from Brian left a mark on her life. And when I divorced, I swore Andy I would never marry again. Never, okay. never, never, never. Uh, I had children to raise, they needed my attention and, and that was my focus. She was really afraid to start dating again. You have to be so careful not to jump into a relationship after you've been through a sad one until she met her first love again. My first husband came back into my life and we fell in love after 25 years of never seeing each other. Marie and Stephen Craig remarried in 2011. This is something that I've always wanted. It's, it's just the way I've always wanted it. And Craig became a man she always needed. Sometimes these things happen to wake us up. Marie proved that it's never too late to find love. She learned a lesson after divorcing Blosel. Maybe I just needed a lot of waking up, but I know that all the experiences that I have been through in my life has given me such compassion and empathy and love to other people that go through struggle. 
and Craig helped her believe in love again. Do you think it was a sign from God? <laughs>